Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and today I've got a product from FreeX. This is the FreeX Wi-Fi Super Roll a thermal printer, and this is a Wi-Fi thermal printer that you can set up uh, and use to print out uh, 4x6 shipping labels, and of course, anything else that will fit in those dimensions. We're going to dig into this right now, and I'll be right back. Okay, so once you get everything out of the box, this is what you're going to get with the FreeX Wi-Fi thermal printer. Obviously, you're going to get the uh, printer itself, and it is a little bit on the tall side, and that is so that it can accommodate that super roll, and they do offer rolls of 600 4x6 six labels that you can get right at FreeX. So... I'll have those links in the description below where you can check it out. Uh, and again, they give you a little start card here uh, if you have any problems. After watching this video, though, you probably won't have any problems at least setting it up on Windows to get your wireless printer set up on your network. So uh, you do get the uh, printer itself. You do get a power adapter. So you're going to have this power adapter. It is a proprietary adapter. Uh, and you are going to obviously have to have this powered on. Uh, and it is uh, pretty lightweight and small, uh, so you should have no problem setting this up wherever you need to. You can see all the stats of this on the back. Uh, so you have that there. Then you have the secondary power cable here. It's just a, a three-prong power cable that you would see uh, with pretty much uh, any uh, you know, power supply or computer accessory. You do have a USB cable that you will have to use during the initial setup to get this printer set up. But well, let's take a look at the dimensions of the printer here. You've got two tabs that you can pull towards you and it will open up. And this is where you will insert your roll if you're going to use rolls. Now, if you want to use a flat ones, you can see that there's a slit in the back uh, for flat labels as well or stacked labels. So you don't have to use a roll if you want to. They do give you this little test page here uh, saying that they tested it at the factory. It's got some information on it. Uh, so you do have all of that there. Uh, and let's uh, go over uh, everything else. You do have some guidelines here. Uh, so you can uh, line up the roll, make sure that it's insecure. And I'll, I'll set one in there too as well. Uh, on the back, you, again, you're going to have that slit there for uh, fo folded labels in case you're not using a roll. You have your USB port, your power port, and a dedicated on and off switch as well. So let's get this set up on our uh, Windows computer, and then I'll show you how to go through everything really quickly. Okay, so the first thing you want to want to do is go to uh, FreeX, and you're going to want to download their driver package for Windows or Mac OS. Uh, so I'm going to do Windows here, and of course we're going to install the driver. Uh, pretty standard and a straightforward affair here for the driver install. Uh, you're just going to want to let it do its thing and get the install done. And you can see that a success button will come up. Uh, and then we're going to want to use the printer tool. Uh, and this is going to be where we can set our Wi-Fi. Uh, again, you must be set up via USB or connected via USB to set your Wi-Fi and uh, IP parameters on this device first. So we're set up via USB. We're going to select the printer. We're going to do a connection test. And our test is successful. That means it's communicating with the printer. And then we'll go to FreeX Setup. And this is where you can go in and you can put in your SSID. Uh, for your wire, uh, your wireless network, uh, it does only run on 2.4 gigahertz networks, not 5 gigahertz networks. So please be aware of that. And then you're going to want to put in your network key as well, uh, so that you have those uh, set to the printer. Once you hit the set button, you will be uploading that information to the printer, and it will let you know that. Uh, so you are good to go. Once it'll print out a little printout on the printer to show you what you set, just check your uh, SSID name is correct. It is case sensitive and make sure that your uh, password is also correct and then go to the Ethernet tab. Now you want to leave this on DHCP most likely unless you feel like setting uh, a, an address. It does come up with a default of uh, 192.168.1.87, but it will assign its own. We're going to leave that enabled for DHCP and then hit set again. 
Once you do that, it's going to tell you to wait about five seconds or so and then uh, turn the printer off and then turn it back on again. And then it will do a, another test page giving you the IP address that it assigned via DHCP. So you will have your own IP address and then you should be good to go. The next step is just adding the printer in printers in Windows uh, and you should be good to go. Okay, so now you're all set up, so you can disconnect the USB on your printer, move it to wherever you would like to go, and then you can add your printer by going to Windows Settings, Add Printer or Scanner, under Printers and Scanners, uh, and it will scan for the printer, but a little link will come up here that says the printer I uh, want to install is not listed, so you're going to click on that, and then we're going to add it manually using an IP address, and this is where that little test page comes in handy uh, once you set this via DHCP. So you can leave it on auto detect, and in my case, it, uh, DHCP gave me 192.168.0.0.0. So that's what I had. So uh, for the host name, we're going to make it FreeX Wireless. And then we are going to uh, click Next. And it will take a few seconds uh, to try to connect to the printer. And we've got a couple more little steps to go. So uh, after a little bit, it will come up and it will say additional information is needed. Just click Next and it should uh, start detecting the drivers for your specific model. Uh, and this is where we will choose the driver that we installed in the video, earlier in the video, which is your free X wireless thermal printer driver. And it's already installed on the Windows PC here, for me at least. Uh, and we should be good to go. So it's a pretty straightforward thing here. You just have to wait for the little detection to kind of time out. I guess is what we're going to call it here, uh, but it, it doesn't take too long. We're talking maybe 30 seconds or so for each stage. Okay, so once it does come up, you have a FreeX Wi-Fi and the uh, printer driver there. So you want to select those and just click Next. And then you can just leave everything at Recommended. And you can name it whatever you would like. If you want it to be the same name as what it was set up when it was on USB, you can. Or you can just name it something else. I'm just going to put wireless after this. So I know that this is the wireless printer itself. And then next. And now you can share this uh, with your uh, network if you wish to. And of course, you would probably want to do that. And you can then print a test page. So it now will send a test page, a Windows test page, to your printer to let you know that the connection over Wi-Fi is working. Okay, so then you just put in whatever role you're going to be using. FreeX does sell them as well. This is up to 600. I happen to have the biggest one. And since it is a little bit of a taller unit, it's going to be able to accommodate a uh, super roll, is what they're calling it, 600 thermal labels. Uh, so once you uh, put that in, it's going to kind of just roll one out to make sure that it's lined up and ready to go. So the last thing we want to do is we want to uh, do a test print on this, of course. Uh, now you will see uh, there are two things that I have here that we did during setup. And these two are going to be your IP address, uh, letting you know what your IP, your SSID, that, that's where I got that information. The printer prints those out during setup, so you're going to want to hold on to those during setup. And of course, your Windows printer test page uh, obviously printed no problems whatsoever there for me. So now we want to just do a test over the wireless network, and it'll show you guys exactly what a uh, 4x6 shipping label will look like on this. So I do have a dummy label uh, that we can print out here, and you should be good to go. Now, this is a great printer for Mac and for Windows. They already have drivers, and they are working on iOS and Android applications as well. So soon you're going to have those, so you'll be able to print from your phone or your tablet as well. So overall, you can see that the uh, wireless test from my PC came out perfect. There's a, uh, you know, just a sample label here. Uh, nice uh, print, and again, uh, just very, very easy to set up. It takes all about 15, 20 minutes tops. And then once you have this moved into a space, you're good to go. 
Okay, so that comes to the end of my uh, FreeX Wi-Fi thermal printer review. Uh, the things I really like about this is it is once set up totally wireless, so you do not have to worry about having this uh, tied down to a PC. Uh, they are working on iOS and Android applications, so soon you will be able to uh, print from your phone or your tablet. They do have Mac OS and Windows already covered, so you should be covered under both of those systems. Uh, it comes in at a competitive price. You can check out the links for the pricing, and it does hold a lot of labels. Again, you can get up to a roll of 600 labels, so you can kick that printer ink to the curb and the costs for extra paper to the curb and switch over to something like this. This is great for a small business or even a larger business that wants to be able to do a multiple a printer sharing via wireless and be able to a print a ton of labels. I definitely give this a thumbs up. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.